today we are going to learn how to do quick, easy day makeup. Because what I do every day is I put some moisturizer on and then some powder. And that's about it. <laughs> so moisturizer evenly applied. You can always just use your hands, obviously, for moisturizer. If you have found a sunscreen that doesn't give you that opalescent, like, tourist kind of finish, great. If you haven't, dilute your, uh, your, um, moist your sunscreen with your moisturizer and you can just kind of layer that. Is that Teresa likes to use a powder for her foundation versus a liquid. The benefit of using just a powder is how much of your natural skin can peek through versus the liquid which I think offers too much coverage for me sometimes and so it's a little intimidating. I don't like the feel either. And the feel mm -hmm. can also make a difference if you're an oily skin type, a powder is gonna be your best friend because it helps matte you out. Just kind of glaze over for an even tone versus coverage. Favorite brush is like a kabuki kind of uh, wide a bristle, like a, bear, a big fat one. Then I'm going to just apply the powder to her T-zone first because I want that to kind of extend outward. Another reason why I like to start in the middle and move out is because I'm probably going to be bringing in a bronzing agent from the outside moving in. So that way we're not putting too much on one in one area. A lot of times too, your lightest color should be on the middle of the face. So that's also why I like to kind of move from the out in. We will go ahead and throw this all over her eyes so that the tone on her lid is even as well. Just define what you have. You have brows, you have lashes, you have cheekbones. Define them and call it a day. From the inside, using the brush to kind of create its own shape. Nothing too intense, but as soon as you get this feature defined, you will notice a big difference. Brows are on. We're not going to go into liner. We're not going to do anything too crazy. We're going to go straight to the Unique Mascara. We're going to prime and then use the fiber wand to define. Great. So just alone, we have brows now. Well, we have her face powder. We have her brows and we have her lashes. You already see her features becoming more defined, even just with her sitting here and in the couple of steps that I've done with those products. For her, for her cheek tone color, I'm not going to offer any redness or pinks or anything just yet. I want to bring in more flesh tone colors, so something more on the bronzer scheme. I'm going to use a, basically a darker foundation shade with a little bit of a yellow undertone. Teresa naturally has pink in her skin, so instead of going um, with it, we're going to kind of neutralize it. So we're going to offer a little bit of color just in the cheek area. This is just a bronzer, but like I said, I'm using a darker skin tone color versus a bronzer. And it's a powder. Same brush as before. I love the fat kabuki brushes. She can told me earlier that she doesn't use any lip stuff, but she is going to look like a completely different person for yeah. carpool today. <laughs> so I'm a big fan. Like I said, define your features. Pick three, brows, lashes, cheeks, call it a day.